Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Sagittarius. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what is coming towards you Sagittarius. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know. This is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for your support. Um, let's see what is your guided message, Sagittarius. We will pick up love and then career, money, and general situationship, okay? We'll start with your overall um, energy, energy checked in. And then the second part of the reading, we will see people connection in what other opportunities in love, career, money, excuse me, <clears throat> will connect with you oh you have a three of swords sagittarius please don't forget to click the bell and click subscribe okay the nine of pentacles is here okay what can i get for the sagittarius sign i am channeling the month of march this is for the month of march what can i get for the sagittarius sign okay in the main channel in the sunshine channel there was a recently uploaded reading it's for your sign it's still covering the end of feb okay this is specifically a month of march going towards april we want to be predictive because predictive reading is that if it's bad we could change it okay it means that the universe is giving us the indication that this might be in this that you could still change or influence something okay predictive if it's good we keep it if it's a predictive reading where it looks like you might do a wrong decision then we change it okay okay all right influence it and the temperance card okay all right sagittarius let's start the reading this is quite heavy um because i'm doing this february 22 and it's near I cannot really lie, <laughs> to be honest with you, Sagittarius. This is the this is the this is the difference. This is the this is the difference when you this is the importance of you know doing like a daily collective reading because you could pick up the fresh vibe, okay, the fresh energy. People change their decision every day, you know. So although I'm channeling the month of March, I can pick up a full moon reading in here. Um, the full moon is happening the 24th, the 25th of February. So I can pick up a full moon reading here. I have to be very honest with you, okay? The Three of Swords. Um, so the Three of Swords and the King of Pentacles in you. You're single, okay? This, ooh, I don't like this person. Um, I will make this very light, but there's a stupid heart. You know, like stupid heart, stupid love in here. Um, they've let you go, Sagittarius. They're so stupid that they hurt the only people, person that could, that really love them. That's you. Okay. Yeah. Three of swords, the king of pentacles in here. Now, this is the person. Okay. So this person will probably have a wake-up call in the full moon, Sagittarius, the king of pentacles in here. It could be Capricorn, Taurus, very good energy. But this person, it's been in your, they've been following you. They've been in your spiritual orbit. They won't let go, okay? It's a person who keeps thinking about you in the sins. <clears throat> they've been... They've been keep they they've been thinking about you and the mistakes and the issues and everything that they they do and they didn't okay um this person betrays you the three of swords they they did something not nice um in your relationship or in your dating and getting to know they regret that they fully fully regret that Sagittarius um the strength card the knight of wands you know what this person is like i would like to take a risk with sagittarius again but i have to make sure that i will stay because you're a nine okay it means that 
this person is aware that they could be rejected or it's possible that you have moved on so they need to really put themselves because this is like king of pentacles i want to commit into reconciling chasing you i want to commit healing the three of swords okay they want to make time spend time maybe money but this person's like i want to commit healing and be forgiven by you sagittarius the knight of wands this person is full of energy and one goal is to commit i'm moving um i'm just gonna move my chair they're very committed to reconcile with you sagittarius okay like they're they wanted to clear their name the knight of wands you know for some of you this could be like a female a player a very player female in here for some of you it could be any gender but they're committed to give you the best experience in terms of reconciliation it's more of like if they need to beg you like if they need to be dramatic beg you um like name the price like name it how can i get you back you want me to beg you you want me to introduce you to my mother to my father you want me to marry you you just tell me because they're ready to commit for long term sagittarius just tell me exactly what you your hangman this person is like i could pursue you i could take you out for a date i can be consistent this person is quite practical in terms of reconciliation because i can pursue you i can really i can be consistent and pursue you i can tell you i'm sorry every day but if you have an idea of how i will be forgiven sagittarius you tell me if you tell me you have to give me a wedding ring i will give you that if you just tell me because they're at a point of their life that they don't want to be to play <clears throat> this is a person who i am done with playing i am done with compute i am done playing um i am done confusing myself i want to really i don't want to settle so they could be you know, it, it's like a person, okay, I can I can pursue you, I can chase you, I can beg for you. But if you have any idea, Sagittarius, of what you want me to do in order for me to get you back, you tell me because I will do it or I will buy it. Something like that. Very interesting proposal. Okay, if you will for if I will get your forgiveness and I will be able to get back to you, if I marry you, I will do it. If you want me to, you know, post you in my website or my social media, I will do it. You just tell me. Because they're quite practical. They could chase you, but you will not like it. So you just tell me what I can do to get your forgiveness and eventually get your love back towards me. Sagittarius. Yeah. The hangman. Because the hangman is here. It's like, you just tell me. Tell me the price. Tell me what can I do? Sagittarius. Tell me what can I do to get you? So the choice is yours. But it's a very big revelation. This is how much they would willing to. Um, this is this is like a person. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Just tell me. Just name it. Name the price, Sagittarius. They're, they have no time to play. This person, you know, it's this person is also thinking, Sagittarius, that we're ending the second month. You know, February is almost finished. February is almost finished. They want to spend the rest of 2024 with you. They cannot wait to be with you. With you, with you, with you. Okay? All right. So that's that. Now, let me see. I think I, I can still download some of the reading, some of some intuitive reading in here. You've got a two of cups in here. So interestingly, this person would probably wait because the month of March, you've got another two of cups. Okay, because right now I could feel that you are disconnected with your past and because oh this is a bit of a full moon reading again sagittarius five of cups the moon card maybe 
end of Feb moving towards the month of March, there's a part of you that you're quite sad because of the people who has disappointed you, the moon card in here, you know, five of cups, the moon card, you will have a very strong decision, Sagittarius, to put the past behind. The thing is, as you declare, I will put the past behind. I will sh shift my focus into the new month, you know, the month of March. And luckily, the universe is supporting you with that. Because with the five of cups and the moon card, you will get a lot of attention from new-ish person, new energy, new situation. So as you move towards the month of March, the first thing that you would notice is that there's a lot of attention or there's a lot of interest coming from those people that you are not able to spend a lot of time with them or it could be there's a lot of appetite to explore new people, new places, new situation. I've been picking up this vibe or pattern with other signs as well, not just you, but there's a craving for let's put the past behind, let's look forward for something new as we gear towards the month of March because you have this, you know, like five of cups, the moon card, I want to put my past behind, I want to focus on new, there's a lot of uh, new vibe in here, oh look at that, yeah nine, I feel like the month of March, okay, now I'm into the month of March because I've, I've kind of touched base with the full moon and the Feb. Now, the month of March with the two of cups, you will notice the past is behind, the past is behind. This is you, nine of pentacles. You are in your prime. You're very powerful. And there's something in the month of March that I need to be passionate again with my work. I need to be passionate again with my life, with myself. So, for some of you guys, you could have a change of hair color. For some of you, like a change of new look. You know, I'm kind of picking up that the month of March, you could experiment into a new color, hair color, new look. For some of you guys, there's so much fun and excitement and passion that you will put in the way you present yourself to the world. So I'm seeing you guys color coordinating or coordinating what you wear like there's so much effort that you put in your makeup in the way you look your hairstyle for the gents um if you're gonna go out you don't think of the the you think of the clothes you wear at night before like you you think in advance okay i'm gonna go out tomorrow i'm gonna go out in the next two days i better think of what should i wear so there's something Something tells me you are sitting in a, like, attraction, okay? You're starting the month of March with, I want a two of cups, you know? It's it's like a, I want a, you know, five of cups, the, the, the moon card. I want to put the past behind, and I want to put more focus into my life, into myself, into the way I look, into the way I speak, into the way I present myself. I want to look good inside and out, and I want to attract. Okay, because the two of cups is like, I want to attract a lot of people. I want to shake hands. So there's something in you that's very powerful and you will spend lots of time in the mirror, I would say. There's some, there's something in here that you're very passionate about how you look, how you speak. Like this, there's a rare, I'm kind of picking up that this is so rare, but you love it. Like maybe for the longest time, you have neglected a part of you. Sagittarius, but now you're back, you're home. There's so much you would spend in front of the mirror. This is you. This looks like the mirror, the eagle eye. So in the mirror, you would see, okay, my skin is dry. My eyes is sad. I want to bring passion. I want to bring sunshine. I, I want to bring good vibe in my life. So it reflects in the way I look. So there's so much leave the past behind. Get a lot of people to be attracted with me. And be in love with my day-to-day. -day, be in love with myself. There's so much of that in here. Sagittarius. It feels very rare. I'm kind of picking up that it's. it feels very rare. Maybe it's been a long time since you have looked into your face in the mirror. So for some of you, like, oh my gosh, this is me. I have forgotten my beautiful soul because of this person or the past. Ditch the past. And then go to the Nine of Pentacles. Lots of love. I don't know, but you enjoy 
thinking of what you wear, what you eat, what makeup you put. It's like there's so much fun in day to day that you will find by putting the past behind. And you're so intrigued with new person, new places, new makeup, new clothes, new you, Sagittarius, because you want the two of cups. And the two of cups is all about like, I want to attract, I want to meet. And in order for you to do that, you're kind of recalibrating your energy. You know, like you're kind of recalibrating your vibe to be more confident in the public eye. And it feels so good to look good. So there's a lot of that. I'm seeing you looking into your drawers, closet, coordinating. You smell good. You look good. You walk like a very expensive Sagittarius quality. Let's put it that way. Yeah, you're saying goodbye to an old version of yourself. Okay, you're definitely going to look at yourself in the mirror and you will say goodbye to the old version of yourself and you're going to recalibrate physical, emotional, mental. You're going to do some glow up and you're going to enjoy it. Like you, you look at yourself in the mirror and you say, oof, we've got some things to be done in here. And I don't think you're going to give up. Who would give up on yourself? No, you don't give up on yourself. You don't. So there's a lot of that that you would do. Early part of March. Look at you, Seven of Swords. I've got my vibe again. I've got my power back. Look at that. This is you. Oh, sorry. I ditched the past. I'm moving on. And you have, what's that Beyonce song? You you, you, you cannot break my soul. What's that? Uh, there's, a, there's a Beyonce song that I like. And it feels like this. You won't break my soul. You won't, won't, you won't break. I'm in a new vibration. This is you. This is you. You are in a new vibration and your new vibration is synchronizing in the way you talk, in the way you talk, in the way you walk, in the way you walk, in the way you dress. You're a new Sagittarius. You're reborn Sagittarius. Okay? Yes, you are the queen of wands again. Look at that. See? Look at that Sagittarius. Look at that. The queen of wands. Look at this. So the month of March... You're going to relaunch yourself. And if you're relaunching yourself, you're also rebranding your product. You're rebranding your business. There's a rebrand from head to toe in here, Sagittarius. You will relaunch or rebrand yourself from head to put, foot. Or any, any project, any business, anything that's connected to you, you will rebrand it. You probably will rebrand your house, your room, your business, you rebrand your product. You are in a new vibration. Look at that. I love it. And then Eight of Pentacles, look at you working hard, very focused, enjoying the time of your life. You are coming to a point where your professional and personal skill sets it's so ready to take on a new vibration, a new level. So this is you. You're so precise. You work hard. You're very focused. And you might take some new course in March. You might take some refreshers, refresher course. You might buy books for, for, for professional and personal. But I see you working hard and looking beautiful or pretty or handsome. You work with a style. You know? Oh, fun. Look at that. <laughs> and this is you again. You will reaffirm. This feels so good. I feel so powerful. This is you, Queen of Wands. You know? This is you. I feel so powerful when I work hard for my living. I feel so powerful if I put a lot of effort to glowing up, taking care of myself. I got my power back again. And I can reaffirm that I'm going to ditch the past. No more looking back. Because I love myself, you know. It's a reading, Sagittarius, where once you get rid of the people or situation that doesn't make you feel good, you will start to love yourself, to love your life, and you will never go back to them again. It's, it's a vibe, Sagittarius, where I love myself right now in the month of March. You're going to fall in love with yourself, with your life. You're going to love yourself right now because you're not connected from any past person that doesn't make you feel good. Have you experienced that? For sure. Where you you connect, like it's a vibe where you're surrounded by people 
or work or information that you don't like. And because you don't like them, you don't feel good about yourself. But in the month of March, you will take your power back. You will start to, you know, put incorporate a lot of self-love, especially looking good, you know, physically improving in there. And because of that, you feel good that you won't come back to the past. You know, it's a vibe where, ooh, I feel good about this. It's really my past was holding me back. I will never go back to my past. Goodbye past. Because I love myself right now. So there's so much self-empowerment that you would do in would so because of this because so much because of so much attention that you put yourself is a brand yourself how you look how you talk it is a brand it is your legacy and that's how you attract people so only a matter of time with the temperance card you will attract two of cups you will attract new friends you will attract business it starts within you Sagittarius yeah you will rediscover yourself that you feel good about yourself when you disconnect with people and situation that has been delaying you, Sagittarius. I can relate to this. Like, okay, you've got to disconnect with people, people or work that does not make you feel good. It's important to disconnect because that's the only way you can glow up and rise. And you will have that in, in the month of March. We'll probably start soon. Go for it, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye, Sagittarius. Please don't forget to click the bell and click subscribe. Bye-bye.